Hi, my name is Miranda. I'm going to do some exercises today to show you how to look after your back and help prevent back pain. Our backs like to do a variety of movements. They like to, it likes to do a forward bend. We do too many of those in our day-to-day -day lives. It also likes to do back bends, side bends, and twists. Those movements we don't do nearly enough of. Or if we do, they tend to be one-sided and very imbalanced. So we're going to do a fair few of those. We're also going to do some movements to, to stretch out muscles that get very tight when we sit, so the hamster hips and the hamstrings, which again can cause back problems. So come with your feet hip distance apart, arms by your side. Inhale, rotate your upper arms out. Your shoulders go back and down, the arms just follow. Exhale, let your arms come back in. Inhale, rotate your upper arms out. Again, the shoulders engaging. Exhale, let the arms come back in. Again, inhale, rotate your upper arms out. Again, feel shoulders go back and down. This time, stay here. Just observe your neck. When your shoulders have gone back and down, your neck might feel a bit tight. So just move your head around. Release that tightness. Just do anything that feels good in your neck here. Then come to centre. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Take your inhale down into your belly. As you breathe in, you should feel your belly rising, swelling. And exhale fully, you should feel your belly coming back in. Tummy muscles engage a bit as you exhale. Inhale, draw the breath down into your belly. And coming back in as you breathe out. Just breathe deeply here for a little bit longer. And a long deep breath really encourages our body to slow down, our mind to slow down. Because stress can cause problems in the back, it causes our bodies to tense up, tighten up and can give us back pain. So just a few more breaths, deep breath, which is very calming. And then let your arms come back in. Inhale again, rotate your arms out. This time take your arms up towards the ceiling, clasp them together and reach them up and come into a bit of a back bend. Lift up, open your breast bone, lift your breast bone, reach up. Exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale, lift up into a bit of a back bend, reach and stretch. And exhale, come back to neutral. Again, inhale, into a back bend, reach up, and back, and back to neutral. Then inhale, reach up and stretch, lengthen. And exhale over the left into a side bend. Reach with the hands, root down with your feet. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, over to the right, root down with the feet, reach with the hands. Inhale, come to centre. Exhale, over to the left, root down with the feet, reach with the hands. Inhale, to centre. And exhale, over to the other side, root down and reach. Inhaling to come back up. And then take your hands behind your back. Have them on your lower back. Just so they can support you on the lower back. We're going to come into a back bend again. So inhale, lift your breastbone, open up, reach up into a back bend. The hands just come to be supporting your back. Make sure your neck is happy and breathe. and come out of it. And then if you take your feet a little bit wider, we're going to do a twist, a moving twist, a little bit wider than hip distance apart, soften your knees, let your arms just hang by your sides, and swing. Let your arms really go floppy. It's a lovely release in the shoulders as well. So just close your eyes and swing from side to side, observing how that feels. Should feel good. Just 
So not only good for our spine, they're also good for all our organs. They give our organs a lovely squeeze and a release. It strengthens our obliques. Layers the abdominal muscles. Just observe your body as you move. And come back to centre. And then if you've come to a place where you've got place to step back, you could be against a wall here, you could use a wall to lean back, to put back against, or the back of a chair even. If you're happy without a chair, step back into a lunge and have the heel of your foot behind your toes and just reach back with your heel. A lunge can be smaller or it can be bigger, wherever your body happily comes to where you feel a stretch in the front of your right hip. So just come to that place where you feel that stretch, reach back with your heel, and then bring your hands behind your head. Clasp your hands to hip together. And then when you're ready to, inhale, lift your breastbone into a bit of a back bend. Exhale, come out of it. Inhale, lift your breastbone. Exhale, come out of it. Inhale, lift up. Exhale out a bit. Arms out by your sides. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Reach back with your right hand, forwards with your left. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, twisting to the left. Left hand back, right arm forwards. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale to the right. Inhale to centre. Exhale to the left. Inhale to centre. And step forwards. And then step back with your left foot. And again, just find that place where you feel the stretch in the front of your left hip. So it might be a bigger lunge, might not be. Again, take your hands behind your head, clasp them together. Reach back with your left heel. Inhale again, lift your breastbone. Exhale, come out of that back bend. Inhale, lift up. Exhale out of it. Inhale, lift. Exhale to come out. And take your arms out the side again, shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, centre. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, centre. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, centre. And step forwards. And shake your legs out. And then take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart again. But this time take your hands onto your hips. And again soften your knees. We're going to do a movement here that really counterposes sitting beautifully. We're going to circle the hips. Circling your hips, observe how that feels. It's a lovely movement for all the muscles around the pelvis. And maybe close your eyes again and just observe how that feels in your body. This can be a lovely thing to do if you've been in the car for a long time. Long car journeys are disastrous to our backs. This can be a great movement release out of it. Also, if you have been sitting, if you know you sit at your desk for a long time, it's really important to stand up every now and then and do some stretches, walk around. Take the circle in the other direction. A lot of these things, of course, we know. It's very easy to forget and not think about it.
again, just observing how that feels. And then come back to centre. Feet back to hip distance apart. Take your hands behind your back and clasp them together. And take your hands down towards the floor and then away from your body. Lift your breastbone, move your head around again. It's another place that's great to give the neck muscles a bit of a stretch. Just moving your head around, releasing any tension. We spend a lot of time with our arms in front of us. So this is a great stretch to counterpose all those moments we have with our arms in front. So breathe deeply. Just observe that lovely openness in the front of your chest. Deep breaths. And we're also going to come into a hamstring stretch here. So inhale, raise your arms a little higher. Then exhale, bend your legs. Take your chest onto your thighs and then straighten your legs as much as they straighten. Bend your knees, bring your hands back on your bottom and inhale, come back up again. And exhale fully. Inhale, take your arms away and up. Exhale, bend your legs, chest onto your thighs, then straighten your legs as much as they straighten, reach up with the arms. Bend your knees, hands back on your bottom. Inhale, come back up. And exhale fully. Inhaling again, come up. Exhale, bend your legs, chest onto your thighs, then straighten your legs as much as they straighten. They might not go straight. If you have very, very tight hamstrings, they may not go straight. We're going to stay here. If you have very tight hamstrings, I would really recommend you do my hamstrings exercise um, videos. Because hamstrings, when they're tight, can really cause a bad back. So here, breathe deeply. Observe your body. Observe that stretch in the back of your thighs. Try and make sure you really are folding from the hip sockets, which is down below our waist where the thigh bone joins our pelvis and is not rounding your back. Spread your toes, raise the arches in your feet, lifting up in the middle like suckers. Check that your knees are pointing directly forwards and then squeeze the front of your thighs to release your hamstrings a little bit more. Draw your belly in and up that can help just tip your pelvis forwards a little bit more. Shake your head around, make sure your neck is lovely and free. And then bend your legs, bring your hands back on your bottom and inhale, come up. And exhale, full exhale. And just stay there for a moment, close your eyes, arms by your sides again. And again, then inhale, rotate your upper arms out. Again, feel the shoulders go back and down. And just stay here and breathe for a bit. Again, draw your breath down into your belly. Feel your belly swelling. And exhale fully. And then let your arms come back in. Om Shanti. Peace. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do subscribe if you did. Thank you.